Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a senior from SCUT. I like your <sighs> And this is titled, The Sky Will Fall Anyways. I know the corny phrase, we met online, makes it sound like I was looking for love in all the wrong places. In reality, we shared a creepy but passionate interest in the band Pierce the Veil. Yeah, I know, I was that kid. So when I saw the Tumblr blog post that read, HMU to talk about PTV, it seemed irresistible. And of course, being lonely, 14, and strangely drawn to the username Vix Nose Hairs, I put an ask in the inbox expecting no response from a blogger with over 15,000 followers. We began sending timid messages. Do you play any instruments? Do you have any siblings? But those eventually graduated to topics that actually mattered. Did you see that PTV poser? <laughs> King for a Day is literally the sickest collab. I am so pumped they got Kellen in the studio. Things became increasingly personal, so I became brave enough to ask, was your blog post about absorbing your twin in the womb true? It was. Do you believe in God? They don't. Do you think we'll ever meet someday? We didn't. But after much debate, we concluded that Vic Fuentes was in a secret relationship with Kellen Quinn, and soon enough, it wasn't weird when I messaged, I wish I could have a love like that. They never called me their girlfriend. Nevertheless, we survived frequent username changes, cross-city moves, divorces, mental illness diagnoses, and hospital trips together. You see, you can do that when your significant other lives inside the Tumblr app that only sleeps when you do. My late nights were gradually spent on the phone, staying up till three, discussing whether or not aliens controlled our lives or if humans lived in a simulation. But I decided that I do not live inside a conspiracy theory because the way my hands would sweat from their good night, I love you. They're words that seem to lose all meaning at the one year mark when FaceTime shortened to become only a memory and found a way to disappear altogether short six months later. Our text sterilized down to making sure the other was merely alive and I began to understand. A simple how was your day became too much of a nicety and the occasional I'm so glad to have you in my life received only a dry thanks. And I was stuck at home trying to figure out if I'd ever meant anything to anyone living halfway across the world or if it was just the fact that I was born in the wrong country. Now red, 10.32 p.m., no longer ensured three ellipses would be followed by any message at all to assure me that I somehow hadn't become a burden so heavy that responding ILY2 was simply too much for you. My mom always told me it takes 21 tries to break an old habit. But my tally said 67, and you would think after 67 times of coming in second, 67 I love you's left unanswered, 67 infinitesimal separate heartbreaks, I would remember that you never called me your girlfriend. 